identical twins of Reddit, what's the greatest thing you've achieved by swapping places without anyone noticing? Story one. Not exactly intentional, but I was visiting my brother's college campus, where he lived in the dorm. I parked and was headed in, and a pair of female hands covered my eyes from behind. I turned around and saw a pretty blonde girl, to whom I only had a chance to say hi before she threw her arms around my neck and kissed me. She then said, Is your brother here yet? I can't wait to meet him. To which I replied, I think you just did. She looked confused for a couple seconds and then turned bright red. When we both got inside, she beat my bro's arm for a solid five minutes. Apparently, he had never told her we were twins, since they had only gone out for a few weeks at the time. They eventually got married, but the way she and I met gets brought up just about every family gathering. Story 2 My brother and I went to the same college. On one occasion, we both went to the library. I was studying, he was meeting a classmate for a project. She ran into me instead, and I pretended to be my brother. When I got old, I went looking for him, but couldn't find him. So I took off my jacket and came back to the girl. I introduced myself and explained that my brother was her classmate, and I was looking for him. She said he had just left. I walked away, put the jacket on, and came back. She said my brother was looking for me. I kept leaving and coming back several times, until eventually my brother finally arrived. When she saw him wearing something totally different than what I had worn with or without the jacket, she freaked out and yelled, There are three of you? Story 3. Got quite a few of these. In high school, I made a bet with my AP physics teacher that we could switch classes on him and he wouldn't notice. He agreed and said he'd give an A on the final if we did. We switched in the day of the final and I had him give him the Scantron with a bubble saying his name, not mine. To prep for this, I walked into class every day acting confused, so to throw him off my trail. Also, rather recently, my brother got free drinks at my wedding from the bar because they were saying, the groom drinks free, so he was scoring free mixed drinks all night. Story 4. Not identical twins, but we still get mixed up a lot. Anyways, I showed up to my brother's class to do a presentation. I'm a convincing speaker and he said he'd give me a hamburger. Teacher never found out. I love hamburgers. Story 5. They're not twins, but my dad and uncle look similar and have a very similar sounding voice. When my uncle was visiting, they decided to go skiing on a handicapped ski day, since my uncle has a lot of handicapped friends who are into extreme sports. My dad was standing around at the bottom of the mountain when he ran into a group of my uncle's friends and they all got very confused. Half of the group thought that he had recently been through some kind of miracle, while the other half thought he had been lying to them for the last 20 years. Five minutes later, my uncle rolls up in his wheelchair. Honestly, this post had me very confused until the last sentence. Then I laughed. Story 6. I taught swimming lessons for three years. During that time, I had one set of twins in one of my classes, who one switched swimming suits to mess with me, except I was still learning names of the kids in class, 50 to 60 kids' names to learn from all my classes, and called one of them what could have been the wrong name, except it was right, because they had also switched. Story 7. A professor at my school is a twin. He got his brother to impersonate him and deliver a lecture on comedy of errors. Then the actual professor comes in and proceeds to argue about who should be delivering the lecture. Shakespearean hilarity ensues. Story 8. My dad has an identical twin brother. This is his famous story. My family is Iranian, and it is mandatory for young men to serve in the army for a minimum of two years. They do have few exceptions. For example, if your eyes are very weak and you can't see without glasses, then you don't have to serve. My dad had the weaker eyes between the two of them, so he failed his own exam. He took his brother's ID to the army offices and failed the exam again to get his brother out of that responsibility. Story 9. They have twin brothers. When they were about 12 or 13, my brother Gio was grounded from the computer. My mom was out, so he decided to sneak on. He was wearing headphones, so he didn't hear when she came in. She caught him. He pretended to be his twin Dante. My mom doubted herself, called for Gio. Dante, having heard everything, responded, trying to help his brother out. My mom was confused for a bit, but being a mom, figured it out. They both got grounded, but she admitted she was very close to falling for it. Story 10 my great-grandfather is an identical twin. Whilst leaving the church on his wedding day, they managed to swap. For years, my great-grandma thought there was a photo of her and her husband outside the church in the mantelpiece. About 20 years in, he finally told her it was his brother on the photo. He went for the long con. Story 11. Not me, but my dad and uncle are twins. Just a few years ago, my dad fell off a ladder removing Christmas lights and broke his shoulder. After surgery, dad had to go to physical therapy for a while. A few months in, my uncle comes up from out of town for some reason I can't remember, and dad hatches a plan to be miraculously healed. He tells my uncle all the names of his receptionists and therapists who wanted me to go in and film it, but I was afraid it would ruin the joke. So I'm told that my uncle goes in and starts going through stretches while the therapist looks amazed. She says, My word, I've never seen such quick improvement. I never thought you would be able to lift your arm over your head again. What changed since last session? My dad's family are a bunch of wise ass. So my uncle starts telling the therapist about hearing of a home remedy by rubbing ostrich oil on his shoulder. Meanwhile, my dad goes up to the receptionist for his appointment and apologizes for being late. The lady just looks confused and says, But you already came in. 
My dad just looks confused back at her and she takes him to his room. I was told that the therapist gasped and took a triple take when she saw them both. Another shorter story is when my dad tried to withdraw $50 from my uncle's bank account. My uncle owns a small business and goes into the bank daily so the teller recognized my dad. He goes up and asks for $50 from his account and the teller just gives it to him. This was a while ago before security was all the rage. He gives the money back and tells him about being a twin. The teller looked really embarrassed and was probably worried about his job. Story 12. In college, emailed my professor I would be missing a three-hour night class because of the flu. Halloween parties. We walked across campus halfway through the class thinking it was clear. Nope, the professor lets the class out early for Halloween campus events and he sees me walking to said parties. Afterward, he emails me calling me out for skipping class. I knew this was the best professor I had in college and I had to take more classes from him with my major later on. So I rolled the dice and told him that I was home all night and he must have seen my twin brother on campus. I told him I thought he knew I had a twin who was a different major by now because of previous classes. Then I provided him with a link to the track and field roster website to prove I had a twin who looked like me. Next week in class, he apologizes to the entire class about how he f***ed up and wrongly called me out for skipping. Story 13. My twin brother and I go to different colleges. I knew he was coming up to visit a couple of weeks after college started, so I didn't tell any of my new friends he had a twin and didn't friend anyone on social media or anything. When he came up to visit, he came right to my room, and we switched for about an hour. It was great. He said he had an in-depth conversation about the fantasy football league I was in, just using cues he found in the conversation. Nobody had any idea. Want a real mess with a group of people? Pull a good twin switch. The reveal was awesome. He was having dinner in the dining hall with my friends. I sat down at a nearby table. The looks of disbelief on people's faces were unbelievable. This one guy looked at him, looked at me, looked at him, looked at me. Speechless. God, I love being a twin. I really wanted one of you to shout, YOU! and just start fighting each other for everyone's confused enjoyment. Story 14. My twin brother and I went to different colleges and didn't generally reveal to friends we made that we each had a twin. One day, a group of people approached me in the street, calling me by my brother's name and asking me if I would like to join them in the pub. I knew that my twin brother was already at the pub, so I said I'd bet them free drinks if I beat them to the pub in a foot race, even if I gave them a head start. They agreed and ran off at top speed while I stood there casually checking my watch and buffing my fingernails on my lapel, only for them to arrive exhausted and find me standing at the bar, drink already in hand. I know it's not exactly an achievement, but it was a fun twin moment. Story 15 My twin and I have pulled a lot of switches and pranks before, but this particular one stands out in my mind all too well. Sophomore year of college, my brother was taking a psychology 101 class as a prerequisite. On one particular Tuesday, he approached me with a dilemma that he needed my help with. Thursday around noon, he had an exam in psych, but that same morning his girlfriend's family was flying out to California to go to Disneyland, and they picked him up a plane ticket. Of course, I told him, Okay, bro, I'll go to Disneyland for you. But we all know that wouldn't be the case no matter how much I tried. He left me with all the material I'd need, and I start studying away in the hopes of acing this exam for him. Or not, heinously screwing up his grade. Here was the catch with the exam room. This professor was notorious for making it impossible to cheat. We'll call him Mr. J for this one. Mr. J had seven TAs who would walk around during the exam and check the two forms of ID he required you to have, and would constantly walk up and down the aisles to check for any form of cheating left me with some of his IDs and wished me all the best. Exam time comes and I'm killing it. Just in case they'd notice any minute differences in looks or handwriting, I wore a backwards hat and wrapped up my hand as though it was injured. You can never be too sure. Now my twin and I love to play pranks on each other. It's just what we do. So I can't help but notice a cute blonde TA that is walking the aisles. The first time she passes me, I look up and give her a smile, almost like a cocky grin. The second lap though, I look up again and whisper hi with an almost innocent smile. This continues throughout the exam until the last run-through, I whisper to her that I think she's cute. As luck would have it, she blushed and said I was too. When I went to turn in my exam, someone from on high was smiling down on me because she approached and gave me her number. Of course, she wasn't giving me her number. She was giving my brother her number. Knowing this, I told her I'd call her that weekend. Next week of class, she approached my brother and asked him why he never called. It was a fine prank. I wound up getting him a B and no one else was the wiser. However, our story continues on two years later. He needed one more elective to graduate, and I figured I'd take the psych class that held the funny memory. The semester was going fine until one day, I get an email from Mr. J, a very angry email, asking me to meet him before class starts. As it turns out, the world could not be any smaller. Mr. J's mother, we'll say Mrs. S, lived in an apartment complex designed for the elderly. In the same complex resided my grandma who raised my brother and I. The two of them happened to become best friends. Mrs. M invited over her son, Mr. J, to have lunch with my grandma and herself. It was there that the topic of twins was brought up and my grandma told a wonderful tale of how her twin grandsons pulled this heist off in a psychology class, all the while not knowing it was his psych class. Oh, he had some questions for me. 
I went down to meet with him, expecting certain expulsion for myself and or my brother. Luck was on our side, though, because he just wanted to know exactly how he pulled it off. Every little detail he made note of, and it's to my knowledge that he tells the same story every semester now, and informed them that the only evident way to cheat in this class was to have an identical twin brother, but now they know to look for that. Also, hats are no longer allowed when taking the exam. I was not punished for it because he said I helped him out, and all I did was get my brother a B, so it made him laugh. Story 16. I think the funniest twin switch that happened to me was when I visited my sister's house. We're sisters, probably identical, with slight visual differences and nearly identical voices and mannerisms. She got four cats, three of which are kins from the same litter. They're all varying levels of people shy because they're used to only being around her, but most of them like me too. She has one cat, Moby, who's the shyest, but I was hanging out at her house all day on the couch and he managed to come out of hiding and socialize a bit. When she's alone, she usually watches movies on the couch with a blanket. But that day while we watched a movie, I sat on her couch with a blanket and she sat in the love seat. While we were watching, Moby jumped up on the couch and snuggled in on my blanketed legs and dozed off. Aw, he stayed there for about an hour. Anyway, the movie ended and we were chatting and Moby stayed chilled out on my legs. I said something funny and my sister laughed. Moby heard her laugh and looked in her direction. Saw her sitting on the love seat and did a classic double take. You could just see his cat thought balloon say, Wait, if she's over there, whose legs am I sitting on? He jumped up super fast and stared directly into my face with this horrified, confused cat expression. Who are you? Then he ran off and hid under the dryer, all traumatized by his accidental snuggling with a wrong twin. It took a long time before he stopped running off when he heard me. Story 17. Not so much a twin switch, but back when I was underage, my brother and I used to get served without ID. I would go to the bar, order my drinks, and then go to get out my non-existent ID, then pretend to be stunned that it wasn't in my wallet. i then start a ridiculous story to the barman about how my twin brother had ID. We were clearly the same age, asking whether if he saw my brother's ID, if he'd believe that I was overage. The barman would never believe me and would call me a liar, etc. My brother would then turn up, pull out his wallet, to a stunned and disbelieving barman, except he'd forgotten his ID too. At this point, we'd engage in a huge argument about whose turn it was to bring ID. By this point, the barman would usually believe the entire story and serve us. Makes absolutely no sense, but it worked almost every time. Story 18. My best friend had twin brothers. They were about 27 at the time. Brother A gets dumped. Bad. Brother B feels terrible, so he and friends take Brother A out to get sh nozzled. Brother A was terribly shy and not great with the ladies, hence why he got dumped by a sea hag with ambiguous morality. Brother B is gregarious and charming, and also very committed to his long-term gal. Brother A spends the majority of the evening drowning his sorrows in tequila shots, while Brother B spends his laying down some serious groundwork and a babe in the bar. Cue closing time. Brother B escorts Lady outside and hails a cab, runs inside to grab his coat, and quickly changes shirts with Brother A. As he walks him to the cab, he's furiously mumbling trivia and bullet points as fast as possible. Deanna, 24, psych major, three cats, love skiing, one sister, etc. That's a good brother. Having a twin is crucial when you don't want to talk to a regrettable acquaintance. Hey, are you? Nope, I'm his twin brother. Story 19. Not a twin, but heard on the local radio about a decade ago. They asked twins to call in with their best story, winner to get concert tickets or something like. The winner, two twin brothers, early 20s. One has been dating a girl he wants to dump, but he's a chicken. So he pays his twin something like $100 to meet the girl and do the dumping. The twin accepts. After the dumping, the now ex-girlfriend suggests one last breakup se session. How can the twin refuse? Twin got the money and a romp. Story 20. Pissed off a principal, but I don't know if that's considered an achievement. My brother's achievement would be delaying the inevitable by impersonating me. He kicked a girl in the playground in first grade and told the teacher he was me. I got in trouble for something I didn't do, but later when the facts were pieced together, my parents exacted some corporal punishment. The time we pissed the principal off was in fifth grade, I believe, when we traded classes. The principal called my mom after finding out and wanted us punished. My mom asked, so they're both in school and neither was a disciplinary problem? What is the problem here? And left. Story 21. My twin and I would swap girls back in the day. At first, we were grossed out by it, but the girls were always wanting to try the other flavor, if you know what I mean. Never any three ways or four ways, just traits. None of the girls were girlfriends of any significance, just fun times when we were young. Another time we dated a set of twins just for the hell of it. No swapping with those two, though. Yeah, but what if the twins you dated swapped? Story 22. I don't think anything will beat the fact that scenes in Harry Potter had to be reshot because the twins playing Fred and George had switched places. Story 23. The characters. Keith, twin brother of Kevin, he's a good guy. Kevin, twin brother of Keith, he's a shitbag. Ashley, my cousin, she was a bit sloppy at 15 and got around. Ashley's at a party and talking to Kevin. She's kind of into him and his bad attitude. Well, anyway, something happens and she has to get up and go outside. She's outside for a good 15 minutes. 
At this point, Kevin gets up and goes over to his truck. At the same time, Keith comes in, sits in the same chair as his brother was with a beer and is talking when Ashley comes back in. She sits down and starts talking to Keith, but she thinks it's Kevin. She doesn't even know Keith. Anyway, very quickly, she progressed to making out with him, and they end up having sex. She got pregnant. She goes to Kevin and says, You got me pregnant. Kevin says, No, you f***ed my brother Keith. She goes, Did I? He goes, Yeah, but I didn't care about you, so I didn't say anything. Keith turned out to be a really awesome husband for her and a great father. Kevin is currently serving out his time for armed robbery in prison. Ashley f***ed the wrong guy, which turned out to be the best choice. Story 24 my sister and I are not twins, but frequently mistaken as twins or mistaken for one another. When we visited each other at our out-of-state colleges, there would always be some case of mistaken identity mishap. Two occasions stick in my mind. First time, this was the first time my sister visited me at my school in D.C. She was maybe 17, still in high school. While I was in class, she went to the campus Starbucks by herself. A casual acquaintance of mine who was really just a pre-gaming, party, shots friend thought that she was me. Didn't say hi or anything, but just went in for the bear hug. He's a really loud, large presence, endearingly inappropriate kind of guy. She thought she was being f***ed with by a DC vagrant of sorts and told me that a mentally challenged person tried to mess with her in Starbucks. It took me like two weeks to find out about this. Till the next time I saw my friend and he was like, why were you so horrified and psychotic the other day? <laughs> Second time. I visited my sister a year later at college. She was big time so horridy girl, with a choice of rager being a run-of-the-mill huge basement throbbing EDM, dimly lit raunchy cesspool of co-ed gyrating, all people there were friends with my sister. I was wasted and dancing with a guy for a long time when he started making out with me. Casual dance floor makeout. I see at the corner of my eye my sister dancing and cheering around us. Then the guy aggressively jumps back like four feet looking back and forth at us in hysterics. He thought I was my sister the whole time, and he was so f***ing confused that it really messed with his head. He was wasted and just couldn't comprehend the scenario. <laughs> Story 25 One time, my brother had just gotten out of work and made his hour-long commute. It was night shift, so he was dead a tired. He forgot to get cigarettes and really wanted one before going to sleep. He asked if I would go buy him cigarettes. I obliged because I wasn't busy at all, and he was nice enough to give me money and let me use his car. And he was very particular that I got him Marlboro Red 47s. I go to the nearest convenience store in this little town nearby. When I say small, I mean like a dozen houses. Blaring some heavy metal on his nice speakers and go inside. The guy at the counter smiles and holds up some Marlboro Red 47s. I ask him how he knew what I wanted. He says that he heard me coming. But I say, I don't even smoke. He looks confused and says, but this is what you always get. I started understanding the situation and said, no, I don't, dude. I don't even smoke. He says, Kyle, my brother's name. Quit messing around. I have a laugh for a second and tell him that Kyle's my brother and we're about three years apart in age. Not really twins, but totally fake the guy out nonetheless. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out this next video. The YouTube algorithm really thinks you like it.